Hello everyone. May Almighty God bless you and guide you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God has given us his word, the Bible, to remind us who he is, who we are, and what is true. Our topic today is the battle belongs to the Lord. Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 says, For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. Many of us have not actually seen a real battlefield. While in the middle of a war, we have not fought alongside soldiers in the many battles this world has faced. In fact, we haven't been alive through every war this country faced or even before we become a country. Yet we are still in the middle of a war and yet we daily fight in the battle. The battle we face is for our souls. Jesus died to save us from destruction. Jesus longs for us to find truth and peace in him and has only one desire, that we fully trust in him and his promise that there will be a day we are living an eternal life with him. Satan knows his, dis his destiny. He knows one day this world will be destroyed along with his reign on this earth. His only job is to take as many as God's children down with him. He was successful with a third of the angels, and he has gained many souls on this earth, and he seeks to devour more. This battle is fought through our trials, desires, and temptations. Being born into sin and having the human nature to sin by falling prey to this world over God's glory is the weapon of choice that Satan uses to gain our hearts and minds. We have all been there. We have all played with fire and tattered on the age because we are only human. And the powers of Christ and Satan we can't use on our own. We are not meant to use anything on our own. We are never alone. It is with Jesus in our lives that victory will be ours. If you are willing and have an open heart, God will use the small, the flawed, and the few to spread the gospel, allowing His grace to abound through our weaknesses. God has promised, when we face Satan on the battleground, we are not alone. He is by our side fighting the fight, giving us strength and helping us see the finish line. Let me just tell you this story. A young boy slings a giant with a slingshot and a stone. It was not because he was mighty. God was walking and moving with David. That is the story I'm telling you now. God showed that he is bigger than any giant on this earth. The only thing David had to believe in was God's promise to help him fight the battle. You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. A story not as well known. God asked Gideon to lead an army to defeat the Medanites whose army consisted of 120,000 army trained men. At first, the task didn't seem completely impossible as Gideon assembled an army of 32,000 men. But God dwelled the army down to only 300 men. How was this battle going to be won now? Gideon had to fulfill trust in God and his promises. As the 300 men surrounded the enemy camp at night with only pots, torches and trumpets. We read how Gideon defeated the Midianites, a sword for the Lord and for Gideon. The battle belongs to the Lord. Judges chapter 7. One of my favorite stories, obedience to God's word brings victory. God's army against an impeccable world marching in silence. We know the story. Joshua leads the Israelites to Jericho and as God commands for six days. They march around the city walls in silence. Much can be learned from this story, but that's for another day. For today's imagine how you may have felt. God said what? We will win by walking around the city without a fight. Yes, when people are treating you bad, you are not talking. But you are inside praying and asking God, what is going on in my life? Father, arise and fight my battle. This had to be hard for many 
and require complete trust in God and his promises. Then on the seventh day, they were taught to shout and make noise. The Lord has given us this city. Hallelujah. And a great miracle, only God's supremacy could accomplish, happened. The walls came trembling down. The battle belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, my subscribers, my viewers, don't be offended. I'm in a place where the wave is so much and you'll be hearing bounce of doors. Do not worry. The greater battle God won for us was at the cross with Jesus, his son. It is finished. Jesus spoke, then died. Satan knew at that moment he was on the losing side. Christ's death sealed victory for us all. If we continue to trust and fully believe his promises, the battle belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So anything you're facing now, can you just hand it over to God? Can you just hand everything to Almighty God? He knows what to do. God knows what to do at all times. The battle belongs to the Lord Almighty. He will make a way for you and defeat all your enemies and defeat all those monitoring spirits hovering around you. They have no power. The power belongs to God. Hallelujah. Amen.